Hello everyone, Neil from BookBolt here, and in this video we're going to go over a brand new feature that we just added to BookBolt, which is the addition of multiple categories that I know you guys are creating these low content books in, and previously you'd have to do all of this research manually, but we've just added these to the inside of the software. So let's go ahead and log in and take a look, and I will explain what you're looking for, what kind of data it provides, and how you can use it to grow your book business. All right, so we're inside of BookBolt here, and we've added these additional categories to two places. The first is going to be the product search over here on the left, and the second is going to be the cloud module. Now, the product search itself actually goes out to Amazon and brings back live results, where the cloud module is a recreation of the KDP database. So let me just show you what I mean. Let's go and start with the cloud. So we'll go ahead and click on that in the left-hand menu, and you'll see this screen. If this is your first time here, you may not be familiar, but if you've been using BookBolt for a while, you should be pretty familiar with how this works. But real quick, the way it works is you select how many best sellers you want to look at, top 100 up to top 1,000. I typically will keep it at top 100 if I'm just looking for, hey, what do customers actually want to buy? Now below that, you'll see a BSR or best sellers rank range. By default, it is set to 1 to 500,000, 1 being the very best selling book, and this is a slider, so you can slide this up and down. On the right, you will see 0 to 100 for a price range. I very rarely will change this at all because we want to see every kind of low content book in the entire range, typically when you're starting off your research process, as well as an optional keywords box, which I'll usually leave blank. Now, the addition to BookBolt that we just changed is up here in the upper right-hand corner under Categories. Now, if we click this, you'll see the categories that used to be in here, Notebook, Journal, Music Sheets, Calendars, and Planners. Super helpful, but from feedback from you guys and actually seeing how everyone is doing their research and what you are creating, we went through and we added a lot of different ones. You can scroll down here. We've added coloring books, activity books, puzzle books, comic books. We also added guest books logbooks, trackers, and sketchbooks. Now, the reason this is important is it's going to filter out all of the other noise, if you will. So let me just go ahead and let's use coloring books as an example because these type of books, most people are not creating. They're not creating them. Why? Because they're a little bit more difficult to do so. But if you have some artistic ability or if you have someone on your team that you can hire to do these for you, one of the easiest ways to stick out in any niche. So let me just go ahead and show you. We'll select category of coloring book. I'm going to leave everything else the same and click on search. Now this will bring back those results. You'll see results data and keyword count. If we can drop this down, it'll show you exactly what we're looking for. Top 100 best sellers. Here's the sales rank range that we picked, okay, along with a bunch of other keywords. Now taking a look at the results here, Scrolling down, you're going to get some crucial data on what people on the other side of the computer are actually buying. I feel like this gets overlooked a lot of the times as sellers. We are only one piece of the equation, right? You need people shopping on Amazon that actually want to purchase what you're putting out. That is how you create a sustainable business. So scrolling down here, we will see right off the bat some of the best selling Coloring books, we have a toddler coloring book right here, 100 flowers adult coloring book. You'll see this has a ton of reviews. It's selling at $9.99, the sales rank under 1,000, the average sales rank over the last 30 days. So this is really helpful when you're looking at, hey, is this an evergreen seller? Is it consistently selling over a period of time? It absolutely is. They're getting hundreds of sales per month at a very, very high price point. So we can go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. Or what I typically do first is I will click on this button right here. This is the BSR and price history. This will show you over time how this product is doing. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see there's a bunch of data in here. They've never changed their price. But look at this. Consistent sales. Every time you see a drop here, it's at least one sale. And in order to keep it under a thousand sales rank, this book is 
flying off the shelves. All right, so right there, flowering coloring books. I didn't know that that was a thing. I knew adult coloring books have been very, very popular. But look, you're just looking in the category that we added. Remember, we didn't add a keyword. We didn't add anything else. We just selected the category to see, hey, what are people on Amazon buying when it comes to coloring books? So you can say, look, people are, they're buying flower coloring books. They're buying tattoo coloring books, okay? Coloring book for adults, stoner edition, all right? Bloody alphabet. So all of these different niches, all of a sudden you start to get some ideas which you can then dig to a little bit further. All right, so the things you are going to want to look at is the price, all right? The BSR as it stands today, I really like to look at the average BSR for the past 30 days. This gives you a better idea of how it's doing over a stretch of time, as well as right here, the price history to see, hey, did they make any changes to these books? And you'll typically notice for a lot of these coloring books, the price is much, much higher, or at least, you know, you're getting a good profit per book if you do some of these, you know, more complicated, low content books. Now, this is just one category, category coloring books, right? You can come in here and say, hey, I want to take a look at sketchbooks. Again, I'm not going to change anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and click on search. Right here, we see some of the best selling sketchbooks right here. Okay, so this is a good example. The sales rank of this one 23,000, the average sales rank over 30 days. Okay, 30,000, still very low. Okay, they're getting a good profit, very good cover. Right, it sticks out, it's bright, it's colorful. We can come in here and see how it's doing over time. Now, it was selling really, really, really well. It's selling a little less well uh, today, but it's still doing incredibly well and you can come in here and go okay if i'm going to create a sketchbook what are people buying it looks like this one is related to unicorns okay we can see that just by looking at the title all right we can scroll down we can see all right here's an anime one here is a you know uh, metallic sharpies or neon this is just kind of like a weird type of cover you have here scrolling down here's one for planets in space so you kind of get an idea of what broad niches you can create these books in and then you can use your research to really niche them down now those are only two of the categories these categories were also added to the product search so going over here to the product search the product search is going to pull live results from amazon and rank them in order of how many sales they are doing every single month you'll see general is the category so on the right hand side which will get all types of books but we also added these other different categories into the product search so let's go ahead and type in coloring book now this one you want a seed keyword let's say you are creating a coloring book about dogs and maybe you're looking for different ideas or you're looking for keywords that you could use in your listing so we're just going to go ahead and throw in dog in the keyword box now, once it's done, click on search, and this can take a little bit of time because this tool is going out to Amazon to bring back all of the results. So let's let it load in here, and I will show you what that looks like. All right, so it has brought back the results here. As you see, things are changing on my screen. The reason for this is that it is looking on Amazon, and it's bringing back all of the relevant information. So let's give it a few seconds here, and everything should be loaded in. All right, so all the results are in now. Now, when we were waiting there for just a quick second, basically what was happening is that the software itself is looking on Amazon and it's bringing back all this information so that it can order them in order of how many sales they're doing every month. So right here, you'll see the ASIN, the price, the reviews, the sales rank, how many sales it is getting per month when it was published, description, so on and so forth. But you can scroll down and see, all right, right here we have coloring wieners, an adult coloring book for amazing dogs, cute dogs coloring book for adults. So you'll see all of these different types of books within the big niche that we're looking for which is dog coloring books now on the right hand side you'll see a big list of different keywords as well as their search volume on amazon which can be helpful if you are putting together a book but what i typically use this for is finding out what customers are buying so you'll see that right here on the results we can click on these it'll bring us over to amazon or at the very top you'll see the keyword count here these are the keywords that are most used 
in these top sellers. So again, we've added all of these new categories that you guys are creating books around in the product search. So this is a little bit slower search, but it does pull live results from Amazon and links them up to, hey, how many are they selling per month in order of sales rank, as well as adding those same categories into the cloud function a bit faster, but you will be able to see price and BSR history over time in the specific categories. Again, seeing what customers actively want so that when you go out and create your own unique books that you stand the best chance of selling and creating a sustainable business. So that's going to be all for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them below, like this video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.